everybody, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. Um, it's not a bad day today, considering we had all the snow yesterday, but we, uh, where we are, near Scunthorpe, you can't actually, there's no trace that it was actually there. So I didn't go, shop, my normal shopping day is Tuesday, but I didn't go yesterday because of the snow, uh, and I thought today, if it's cleared, I will go today. So, get yourself a cuppa. I've got my favourite red berry tea in here uh, i'm going to do this in stages and try to um link the videos together so it's just one video if not they'll be in separate bits i've been to um first of all i went to home bargains and then i went to iceland because they're next door to each other um, and then i went to tesco to get the bits that i couldn't get from there and then I popped into Marks and Spencer's because I saw on the television the other day on Lorraine um, that Mark, the fashion guy, was showing you these masks and their masks were um, on there. So I've been and popped and got those today, straight in, straight out. I went on the self-serve checkout thing. So what I'll do, I'll go through each one with you and um, I'll go through some of the prices. I won't do them all because it'll be take forever. So I have done my... Um, menu plan for the week if you see on here uh, menu plan on there I did go through what I've actually got in the fridge and the freezer and in my pantry and what have you so we've got Monday I did put beans on toast but I'm doing fajitas uh, and wedges but then I saw some sweet potatoes which were a good price so I thought I'll do um, sweet potato chunks instead with that um, so that's Monday Tuesday which was yesterday, we had um, scampi, chips and salad, because I started the list on the Tuesday, so that if I go shopping on the Tuesday, the list starts there, and then it goes through, and then to the Monday, and then I do it again Monday night for the Tuesday. Anyhow, we've got Wednesday, which is tonight, I was doing a corn and paneer curry, but hub is out again tonight, so I've moved this down, look if I've put arrows on here, if it's shaking a bit the screen, it's because I'm trying to hold this in my hand and it's quite heavy, it's my iPad. Uh, so I do apologise. So we'll have that tomorrow. Chicken goujons and salad I've got on for Thursday. So what I'll do is I'll omit that and then I can, we can have that next week, the goujons, because they're in the freezer. Friday we're going to, and then I'll do the curry. Oh, I'm trying, I'm covering the thing up, aren't I, the lens? Um, Friday we're going to have well Graham's having fish cake and I'm going to have fish goujons from Iceland I love those I say I've got those in the freezer Saturday um, we're going to have a chicken salad um, with Hasselback potatoes as well and then on Sunday I'm going to do a roast chicken dinner with Yorkshire puddings um, cauliflower cheese I'm going to make and carrots and cabbage so that'll be there and then Monday, as I say, it'll be fajitas. So we're back up to Monday then. And then the week starts again. If you see, I've ticked, ticked the Tuesday. So we've, I've, oh, we've had that. So that's that. Um, so tonight for my dinner, I've got some veggie fingers and things left over. A few, I think there's about three of those. And there's a, a little cauliflower cheese grill thing. I think I'll have those tonight with some salad. Um, and I've got a little crusty breadstick. So that's what I'll have for my tea. Um, and then when Hubby's home tomorrow, I'll prepare the um, the curry, actually, I think. Or I may, I may not, because I've got some bits and pieces to make some dog biscuits. I'm gonna, I'm starting to do organic dog biscuits. And I'm going to try selling them on, um, on the internet. And also giving them to my dogs as well. So I shall let you know how they go on. If you're interested, please leave me a, a note. And once I've calculated the pricing and one thing and another, if, if anybody wants to order them, then obviously let me know. Um, I'm only choosing the recipes that are um, that last a few weeks or that you can freeze. Because there's no point me sending out biscuits that are only going to last a week because by the time they get there, they might have already started to, to get where they're, they're not good. Because the post at the moment is it's difficult isn't it to to guarantee that it'll be there next day so i'm going to do the ones that are going to be two three weeks if they're frozen i'm going to freeze them and send them down down to your address to wherever up down across wherever you are actually frozen 
um, if it's meat based. If it's not meat based, if it's say like a muffin or something like that that you can freeze, I'll send them unfrozen for you to pop in the freezer when you get them. And I will put instructions on, on each one um, of the storage um, details and things that you need to do as well. And I will also write on the, the ingredients. I'm using all natural ingredients. Um, so there'll be organic, there'll be natural foods, um, there'll be no additives in there at all. So it's best for your dog. And um, I'm going to do a couple that... Um, I'm doing one for, for bad dog breath <laughs> and one for fleas as well um one that keeps fleas away naturally with charcoal and things in there so let's carry on without further ado if it's something that you're interested in watching please keep watching and i will see you very soon i think we'll start with the home bargains haul it's all over my kitchen i've got tesco's and things on here as you can see and then on the table behind me i've got masses and masses of home bag and stuff so and my flowers need to be changed because they're nearly they've nearly had it i need to take a few out of there and change them around excuse my washing in the corner my fire's down in that corner and it's lit so i got the washing there to dry it so i don't have to use the dryer so yeah bear with me and stay tuned hi if this has worked and it's linked together well done if not there's two or three videos on the way i'm not very techie so i'm not very sure but anyhow, crack on with the home bargains. So, home bargains, we got Kiora, and this was a pound. Uh, it's a one and a half litre bottle. Hubby takes dilute to work with him. So that's for him, for his pack ups. And then we got, um, I'm doing a little bit of um, a DIY project um, upstairs. So. I needed a mini roller. I'm just, just, I've just been rubbing. We've had some damp in the hallway, so I've just been rubbing that down, and I put damp seal on, uh, and I just wanted a mini roller to touch up the paint. So that was uh, one forty nine. They're a lot easier to handle than um, a big roller if you've only got a little bit to do. Anyhow, so the next thing I got was. I'm going to, for my curry tomorrow, which I said about the corn and paneer, I'm going to do it as a gel phrase. So I would normally do my curries from spices myself, but I thought I'd buy this one um, and give it a try. And this was 89p. And it's got the spices in the top and then it's got the curry sauce in the bottom. So it should be nice, should that. I think I have had one of these before. It says a delicious blend of peppers, onions, tomatoes with coconut cream. So that should be nice. So that'll save me a lot of messing about tomorrow. Just put them over there. Okay. And then I'm on about the... I'm looking for the... I've got them on the list. And I'm trying to do it in order. <laughs> in order on the list. Um, when I was saying about the dog biscuits, I need some peanut butter. So, But peanut butter without xylitol. Because xylitol can be um, fatal to dogs. Well, in um, Home Bargains, they do a whole nut peanut butter and there's no xylitol in it at all. Um, so, that's the peanut butter and that was 89p, which is, is really good price as well. So, that's that. And then for my fajitas next week on Monday, I needed some sour cream. So, rather than buy it fresh, I tend to buy it in these plastic ones and then you can pop it in the fridge once it's open. Um, I mean, the date on this one is, let me have a look, uh, August 2021. So I've got until August to use it up. It probably says somewhere. Once open, keep it frigid and use it in 14 days. I'm not a health person, a health official, but if it smells all right and it looks okay, I'll try it and if it tastes fine on a little tiny bit on a teaspoon, then I'll eat it. So if, if it's after the date. So that was that. And we got that one. And that was 79p. And then, I've said to you that I, I loved my raspberry or red berry tea. However, years ago, I was talking ooh, four years ago, five years ago, I used to drink this lemon tea from Home Bargains. Well, I just thought for a change, I'd try it again and have another go at it. 
I stopped drinking it when I went to Slimming World because on the sin value, it was something like 15 sins or something for a cup, for a, a cup of tea or something like that. Anyway, some ridiculous amount. So I stopped buying it and went on to the, the pure berry tea where there's, it's a tea bag and that's it. This has got, um, I think it's got sweetener in it or sugar in it or something. But I just got it for a change from the, the red berry. Um, and that was um, 89p. So that's not bad for that. It hasn't changed price since I was buying it. And that's a long while ago. So that's all right. Um, I needed some more sweet chilli sauce. I like the Heinz one. Um, but it's two pound at the minute which is a bit ridiculous um i get it on offer when it's on offer at tesco normally usually on a half price now and again so i usually get it then but i'd run out so i need some sweet chili sauce and this was 69p this is from home bargains there's not a lot of difference in the taste but it's just i think the the heinz one's just the right mix of sweet and spicy um i don't think i've had this one so we will see. It says, great for dipping, drizzling, or adding as a spice kick. I have it on everything. <laughs> Apart from Sunday dinner. But I do have that on everything. So I do go through quite a bit of it. And then I got, I have got a enchilada pack, a pack kit thing in my pantry. But I'm going to do fajitas instead. So I just bought a fajita seasoning. In the kit, there's the wraps and everything else. So I thought if I get a seasoning and I've got the sour cream, uh, I'm going to, because we're having roast chicken on Sunday, I'm going to use the leftover chicken to make the fajitas. So um, I tend to use chicken. I'll just warm it through with the fajita mix and then do everything. Then what you do with the sour cream and everything else. So I got that one. That was 49p. I thought it was better than buying a full kit again because... I mean, at the moment, I think I paid one ninety nine for the for the enchilada kit, um, and that was on offer. They didn't have the fajita one in um, Home Bargains, and I didn't really want to pay the price of Tesco or a supermarket one when I can get it in there normally. So I just got that to help me along, and then I got for hubby for Valentine's Day. I got a pair of socks. Oop, these. Have you, I've seen the ones that everybody's been buying that say be mine and they're in like a little pouch. But I got, I liked these and I thought that he'd like them as well. So that's, I got him those. They were 99p and they're a size 9 to 11. So that's good. He's an 11, so they'll fit him. Um, yeah, and then I also got the oh, heart shaped chocolates that to go in. This, if you saw the Poundland haul, I did um, a Poundland haul with some heart things on there. Um, and I think they, let me see if I can find that, because I've just, see, what, what brand is it? It says lots of, just says lots of love, so I'm not sure. I'll tell you how much they were when I get to them. But they're solid, they're not hollow. They are solid. Um, let me see. Milk chocolate heart, 79p. So just a bit of something, nothing. We don't really do a lot, buy a lot on, on Valentine's, so it's just the day, isn't it? It's just to recognise the day I'm doing the dinner. I think that's enough, don't you, on Valentine's Day? <laughs> but anyhow, yeah. I got an olive oil, Olivia olive oil. This is really good stuff, 95p. This, again, is for my dog biscuits. And um, I do find that home bargains are really good price wise on um, olive oil i mean they've got but not bertoli what's the other one Phil berrio philippa Ber filippo berrio olive oil in there as well and that was quite a good price but this was 95p for this one half a litre 500 ml so that's that one and then i got if i can see it a muslim face cloth um for my cleanser that was 69, 69 pence. And then the hearts, we've done those. Nest Cafe chocolate uh, coffee. It takes these to work with. I mean, it usually takes two or three a week. That way up, but these are the cups that you normally get in the vending machines. But Nest Cafe do them in the cups that you, that you can actually buy. And in each one, it's a five or is there eight? I think, I'm not sure. Um, do you know, I don't think it says. Sometimes it's on the front. 
Oh, seven. Hmm, seven. Seven in each of these. So they've already got the whitener in and everything. And all he needs to do is um, top, put the water in from his flask. Because he takes a flask of boiling water with him. So he just tops them up with water rather than having to mess about with a kettle in his truck and things. So they're all right for him for to take with him. And they're 99p each. Um, and what else did we get? Uh, porridge for his breakfast. These were three for a pound. Oh, burst. They're just the plain ones. They're not. He's not keen on the golden syrup, so they're just the plain ones. Um, and then I bought these self-seal card bags. You know when people make cards, um, they put them in these bags and they seal, and they're like a, they look like this like a crispy plastic i call it but um there to put my dog biscuits in once i've made them and then i'm going to sell them or hopefully sell them but to put this just put them in here and then i can seal them over and keep them fresh and then they keep hygienic as well so that's those and they were 99p i needed some parsley again for said dog biscuits so i got the parsley from there 39p I wanted some mint as well, but they didn't have that. I don't think I've got enough left, though, so that'll be all right. Um, and then one of the biscuits has got some baby food in, apple baby food. So I've got uh, um, an apple and yoghurt baby food here. This was 49p. Excuse my dog barking. It's going to carry on in a minute. I thought we were doing well. Um, and then I got my bold wash powder, washing liquid this week. Charlie! Bear with me a minute. Right, right, I'm back. I don't know what he was barking at. There's nobody there, but anyhow. Yes, yeah, so bold two-in-one um, with built-in Lenore freshness. Now, this is the gold orchid one, and it's a 24-wash one, and it was $2.99. Um, now, because I bought that one, the gold, I also bought the Comfort um, Heavenly Nectar. And this is the concentrated deluxe perfume one. This is a 58 wash. Um, and this was 249. So that was that. I thought they might smell nice together. The thing is, when you've got your mask on now, you can't just open things and smell them. And I like to smell them, but I think they'll be alright together. We'll see, won't we? We'll see. <coughs> um, what else did we get? Web box. The, the boys have these on the morning when they get up. They sound like babies, don't they? They're my fair babies anyway. So they always have these on the morning. They only have them on the morning, and I do four between three of them, and I break them up and give them a little bit each in turn, and that's their little bit of a fuss first thing on the morning. So that's what they have. So they're 79p. So I just get one a week. Um, and then I got some rice to go with our curry. I have got some rice in, in the pantry, it's just it, if I need it quick, then it's it's easy. But if Graham's home and I know what time he's coming home, I'll actually cook the rice myself. But if I don't know and he's late or anything like that, I just keep a couple of these in uh, so I can just bang them in the microwave if, um, if he's delayed or anything. So these are long grain. I've got two of those um, and they were 49 each. I got... Um, I'm also doing dog hampers and cat hampers and things. So I got a bag of a bag of, a bag of, a bag of tennis balls um, for my hampers. Um, and I think they were 99, so that's those. Um, and then I got, because um, I want to fake tan my face tonight, I've got a found a brand new brush. I have got loads of makeup brushes, but I want one that's not being used, obviously. So I bought this from the Olivia Hale Foundation brush uh, to, to make sure I've got it all in prop all over all my little creases and wrinkles and things. So that was one ninety nine. It says ideal for liquid foundation to create seamless balance and coverage. So it should be okay for um, fake tan. I shall let you know on that one. You see me walking around with the splodges everywhere. Just bear with me a minute. It's a blooming chaos, this house, isn't it? <sighs> I'm back again. You watch the phone will ring now. Anyhow, where were we? <laughs> Foundation brush. Baby wipes, keep these in. 
the good for wiping hands or wiping the dog's feet, wiping the faces, whatever needs to be wiped. That's simple as 49p. I always buy the ones with the lid um, so that you can seal it again because those where they peel back the thing, they never stick properly. So that's that's the baby wipes, 49p. And I get the scent the normal scented ones because I, I like them to smell they smell nice i don't like the ones that are sensitive where there's no scent to them um napkins i've got 69p for 25 we've got a lot of printed ones in different patterns they're really pretty 20 uh, 60 uh, yeah 69p and then i need some for my wall i'm doing upstairs i needed some filler i've got some powder filler but i just thought this would be easy and quick and just to put it on where I need it and not have to mix it up and then be left with a lot because you usually end up where you do too much and then you're left with a load and then it wastes it so I thought I'll get this I think this the, yeah this was 99p and that'll do the job it's not a big a big thing that I need to fill so that'll be fine um I got some Seabrook salt and vinegar, uh, Seabrook salted crinkle crisps and they were 99p, they're plain, well, ready salted. And I got some Golden Wonder. I used to have these when I was a kid. Smoky Bacon. They were 95p. The Seabrook were 99p. So that's those. I also got the, I, as you probably know, I have a, a really bad back. Um, I've got scoliosis. So some days it's worse than others. Um, but I find that as if my tablets are wearing off a little bit before I take the next ones, if I put a heat patch on, it works really well. Well, I haven't seen these ones. These are by Elastoplast, and it's the spiral heat, and it says flexible heat patches for targeted pain relief. Uh, and it's the spirotherm technology, the flexible, soft touch, extra discreet, um, and it's for back or neck. And there's three patches in there. So, and it looks like, I don't know if it's, let me open it and have a look. So it looks like there's a, a, um, a wrap thing in there or something. Right, there's three. Oh, that's good that they're all sealed. Um, I don't want to open it because if I open it, they'll, they'll set off. So, um, it says it can take up to 30 minutes till the heat patch warms up to an effective heat level only open the pouch immediately before use should only be applied on clean dry and unbroken skin so that's good you can actually put it on your skin because a lot of them you have to stick to your clothes stick to the skin directly over the affected area and press firmly the patch should not be worn for longer than 20, uh, 12 hours so that's good so I can't actually open it, but I think, looking at that, they're like on a, a long, like a bandage type thing, if you like, that sticks to your skin. And there's two on each. Look at my Wicklow now. Oh, that is so, but at least it's burst now. So it'll get better. Oh, it says, I'll tell you what, that has been really painful. But anyhow, that's that. So they were one ninety nine. So that's quite a good value, really. I've got a little boy who wants to get up, but he'll have to wait a minute. Now I have bought this hemorrhoid relief cream, ninety nine p. Not because I've got piles, but um, because it's good for eye bags, apparently, and puffiness. It reduces the puffiness around your eyes. Put it on at night time. And because of the action of it, it shrinks, um, obviously, the, the piles. It shrinks them. It shrinks your skin. So I tend to have, I, I tend to hold a little bit of fluid here. It's always been like that since I was a kid. So, excuse me a second. Um, so I thought if I got the, oh, hello, say hello. Doop -doop. This is the monster, well, one of the monsters, aren't you? The monster. Um, I thought if I got the cream to try, we can give it a go and see. So that was 99p, and I shall let you know how that works. And then the last thing I got was some fire lighters, and these are 49p. I buy, I buy them every week. So, um, so yeah. So that's it for home bargains this week. Um, 
so I will close this video and then try to link the next one if I'm not successful it will um, be a separate video for Iceland um, and Tesco's so I'll see you very soon please subscribe if you haven't give me a thumbs up if you like the video um, and then um, I'm trying to increase my channel um, traffic if you like and I'm trying to increase my subscribers to a thousand for this year that's my personal goal this year to get to a thousand um, and I'd really appreciate it if you could share and ask your subscribers to pay me a visit and things like that um, so to help me along if there's any videos that you'd like me to do then please um, obviously pop, pop it in the comment box below uh, if there's anything you want me to uh, buy or bake or cook or any recipes you'd like to see me do or I don't know all sorts of things there's all sorts you can do isn't there so I'm going to do a video of my makeup haul um, because that needs decluttering I did do it a little while ago so I don't think there'll be a lot but as part of my decluttering 10 things a day that's one of the things that I'm going to do so for now fingers crossed I can link the other videos to this if not I'll see you in the next one <laughs> all right my love see you soon hi everybody i'm back again i'm now here with my iceland haul um so without further ado let's crack on i bought um where are we what's at the top let's see oh yeah i haven't bought these for quite a while hang on a minute let me find them and they weren't on my list but i can soon tweak a recipe that we're for having chicken something um, or I'll save them for next week before we go shopping next week, do my menu list. Um, so they were £1.50 each or two for £2, which I think is really, really good value. And I got a chicken tonight, a Spanish chicken. So that's good. That can go with your chicken or, I mean, you could even do pork chops or sausage with it as well. I've done things like that before. Not necessarily with that flavour, but similar. Um... And then I got another pasta bake, which is tomato and herb. And I haven't done one of them for a while. So this is the chicken tonight, this one. And then this one is the home fried pasta bake. And I thought that was easy and it's good to have in. Just bang it in there with some mince or um, some chicken and some pasta or whatever you want, really. If you're using up leftover veggies, that's good. Um, just bear with me a minute because I've got the blooming dog on my knee. I can't be left alone for two minutes. It's got to be there on my knee. Um, so, yeah, using up leftover veg, put it in a big um, oven-proof dish, um, put some pasta in, bob that on, sprinkle cheese, in you go, fresh, and then do some, like, crusty bread or something with it to dip in, or the garlic bread or whatever. Um, so I've got those, two for two pounds. Um, I got Petit Pois, Petit Pois, and they were a pound from Iceland, Iceland's own, that's good. They have got, if you're a bit brand, you want brands, they have got um, bird's eye ones on offer, but the bag's not quite as big as that. So um, they are nice, the Petit Pois, Iceland, are as good as the bird's eye, I think, as good as the bird's eye. Um, so they, they were a pound. I got the McCain quick chips for hubby to take to work because he's got a fridge in his truck and a microwave so he can microwave these and in this one these are the crinkle ones you're getting six for the price of four so you're getting 50 percent extra free and these were let me have a look i think they were two pound let me see um mccain quick chips yeah two pound for six boxes so that's Oh, excuse me, I just had a drink and I always get hiccups, don't I? So that's pretty good value um, doing do, um, for six boxes. Okay. And then we got, uh, let's see what's on my thing. Bacon's right. I got streaky bacon for his pack-up sandwiches. Rather than buy the pre-cooked bacon that you can buy in the supermarket what i tend to do is buy this because that's about three pound for about i don't know six rashers um i buy a pack of streaky and then i fry them off and let them go cold and then they're crispy but you need to fry them till they're crispy and they'll still be bendy but when they've cooled down they go hard so then you can put them in the sandwiches and he likes that just as it is with nothing on it apart from the butter obviously on the bread 
Um, they are quite nice with cheese as well and coleslaw. I think it was Greg's used to do it. I think it's cheese and bacon savoury. I don't know, it's a long, long time since I've bought one from Greg's, but um, you can make your own kind of thing like that up. But I just do him plain, streaky bacon sandwiches, and he loves them. So that's that. That was £2 for 18 rashes. And again, that's got 50% free in there as well. So that's good. I also got some smoked back bacon for, for the weekend for a bacon sandwich. Um, and I'll pop one of these in the freezer. These were two for £3, which is quite good. So I got two of those while I was there and they were on offer. And then I got some finely sliced roast chicken. I love this wafer thin stuff um, in, a, in a wrap, uh, like a tortilla wrap thing with sweet chilli sauce, mayo and grated cheese and salad on. Oh, I love it. So I thought I'll have a treat this week. I bought myself the chicken, wafer thin chicken, and then I got six slices of the roast chicken rather for, for a change from ham for Graham, for his sandwiches as well. Um, and I also got him, if I can see it, because he likes a bit of a change, um, Corned beef as well, so they're corned beef. Let me see how much. So the chicken, they were two for two pounds. Going back to these, and then the corned beef. So let me have a look. That was a pound. Was the corned beef as well? So so that's that. Um, what else have I got on here? Oh, I haven't tried these. I've got these to try. Hash brown waffles. Now, on Monday, if I don't do the sweet potato like chopped sweet potato chunks was the word i'm looking for i might do the fajitas with these um these were a pound for nine and they're new in iceland now i haven't tried them yet but these cooking uh 15 minutes from frozen so i think that's really good um and it'll be a change won't it i bet they're really crispy and tasty anyway i shall let you know so that's those um, and they'll stay in the freezer because we won't use nine on Monday. Probably only have, maybe I might have one and Graham might have two. Um, so they'll last quite a bit, won't they? And then we've got a bag of straight cooked frozen chips. They usually get crinkled, but again, I thought I'd change it up. <laughs> get it excited and get plain. So plain straight cooked chips. Um, and I always put them in the oven, I never fry, fry them. Um, I think they were, yeah, they were a pound. And what else did we get? I got in six snack pork pies, which were, let's see, pork pie, pork pie, pork pie. I can never remember how much these are. Six, one seventy nine. So that's good, really, for those, not Mulberries. Um, cheese, I needed some grated. I needed some cheese slices again for his pack ups. So I got. Cheese slices and grated, they were two for three pounds, so both of those were three pounds, so that's good. And I got some mozzarella, I like this on salad or if I'm doing a pizza, pop it a little bit extra on the pizza. So that was that. Now the mozzarella was 50p, um, yeah, done the two for three pounds. And then the boys have um, scrambled eggs with a bit of meat for the dinner on a night time so i got this pack of ham per, ham chunks if you like ham off cuts if you want 189 uh cooked ham trimmings that's the word and they have different ones each week sometimes it's turkey sometimes it's chicken sometimes it's ham um so yeah that'll last all week so that's good they only have a little bit on so that's that um what else is from the Roast chicken, we've done them. Bert, uh, Warburton's toasted. I got that from there, one pound ten. And I got some Warburton sliced bread cakes or rolls. We call them bread cakes, but I don't know what you call them where you live. Uh, these were one. Uh, these were where am I? White rolls, eight pack, a pound. They're brilliant, so easy. You don't have to mess about cutting them. I know that's easy to say, but sometimes the bread, these are so soft, you try to cut them and they pull apart because the, the bread knife just rips them to pieces sometimes. But these are pre-sliced, so they're easy. So that's those. Um, what else did I get from 
Um, home bargain. Uh, from I saw, oh eggs. It's looking at me in the face here. Fifteen eggs again for the dogs. I go through four a day. I have got some more eggs, but I got them um, from Tesco. Um, I got them. They were reduced. I got those from there. But these fifteen eggs were. Let's see. Eggs, eggs, eggs. I think the one. One twenty-five for fifteen. The mixed sizes, uh, and these are best before the 18th of February, so the boys have those on their dinner on the night time. Um, and that is all my Iceland haul, I believe. Yep, yeah, the rest is Tesco. So I then also I also now top up on my on my Iceland card. I round it up so that each week I'm saving a little bit towards my Christmas food. Um, so I find that's really useful. That's a good tip that if, if you do shop at Iceland, if you haven't got a bonus card, get a card and round it up and or even add a little bit. So say if your bill was £18.40, you could round it up to £20. Uh, so there's £1.60 gone onto your card in savings. And you could then say, oh, if you wanted to round it up to 25 then you've got £6.60 gone on. You can add a couple of pound a week. You don't have to add anything in the week. Nothing. You don't have to do anything. It's entirely up to you. But any little bit that you add on there, obviously, is going to help you at Christmas. Um, and I also buy the savings stamp at Tesco's. Started that this year. I did used to do it years ago, but I didn't do it for the last few years. I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, so I buy a few of them a week, two or three a week. The other week I bought a fiver. Um, and you get a card and you just stick it on stick the stamp on you just put pound coins into the slot so it's however many pound coins you that you want to put in there really but that helps as well the good thing is you don't have to use either just for christmas if you wanted to say say for a kid's party say september time you could use your iceland money that's on your card then to pay for that at september or whenever the birthday is so it doesn't have to be just for christmas they do let you throw it out whenever you want it well, not draw it out, but use it to pay for your goods at any time. So that's a good idea and a good tip is that if you don't do it, it's worth looking into. It all eases the pressure towards Christmas. So, and I, I mean, I used to do hampers years ago, the family hamper things and um, like the, the part hamper things and, and what have you. I know there's loads of them about, or there was, till they started to go um, bust when they weren't financially strong enough to continue. Um, and I just think you're better off putting your money somewhere like Tesco or Iceland. At least you know the ch well, who knows in this day and age. But the chances are, they're both big concerns. The chances are that it'll be okay there. Uh, and if you've got any whisper of anything that's not quite right, you're in control because you could go and, and go fill your freezer and spend what you've got on your card before anything happens. So... Like I say, you just don't know nowadays, do you, with the COVID and that. There's that many shops being closed down and what have you. So, right, I will bring back to you shortly with my Tesco part. Okay, see you very soon.